Right, let's have a look at this then. What have we got? This I think there's a bit missing off there. Now I do know, for I can guarantee that there's going to be some excited young people probably about this video because for some reason all the younger younger vacuum geeks that subscribe to me like the Hoovers. I don't know why. It seems to be Hoovers and pneumatics. No idea why. I know Mr. Ibasiak likes a Hoover. Not that he'll be watching, but you know what I mean. He likes the, the Hoovers. So we've got this one. I acquired it today. Um, don't know anything about it yet. I've just literally dragged it in here. It's a little bit muddy. I don't know why it's muddy. We've got a little. Oh, it doesn't work. I don't know how it works. See, I have no interest in Hoovers, the brand Hoover. No interest whatsoever. So I don't know anything about them. But this is um, Edge to Edge Power Cleaning. Apparently, it's just what's got. Well, apparently that's what it's got. That's what it's got. Not that I believe it, because I don't trust. Don't like. Don't like them. A lot of crap. A load of um, flimsy. Dyson are going the same way as Hoover went, I think. Um, you know, just flimsy plastic, no good. Anyway, it's a, a pure power, 1500 watt. Uh, what have we got here? Oh, what's this? Oh, this is that thing what they have on them for some reason. By appointment to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, manufacturers of vacuum cleaners and laundry equipment, Hoover Limited. Where the hell that says? So, We've got the on and off switch, probably, looks like. Yep. Don't know what that button does. Something. That is probably something. And some more stuff. Um, there's a bag in it. Oh, that is a bit of a cobweb. There's a bag in it. Probably full up with some stuff. Um, so, it's got the little Hoover logo on it. Uh, yeah, it's got the pipe on it, the hose. It looks like it's missing tools. I assume the tools are supposed to go there. Hoover helpline, open seven days a week. Oh, there you go. I won't be ringing them up. Oh, look, we've got one tool. This is obviously a crevice tool. At least they supply quite a long crevice tool. Not that I'd ever want to use a Hoover to find out if it's any good, but what's that for then? To recline it, probably. Uh, right, well, anyway, oh, look, that's what I was looking for. For you geeks, Hoover model U34560001. There's a serial number for your dating and all your informations. Um, I was trying to find out whether it's British made or whether it's a stupid one. Well, no stupid, but if it's British made, I'll give it a little bit more leniency than uh, the Chinese ones or wherever they make them. Out of space or wherever. Don't know. But let's have a look. What's the bets? That it, is it going to work or is it not going to work? Because I don't know whether it's going to work or whether it's not going to work. Probably gonna blow up or something. <laughs> oh. right. That's obviously the on switch. Well, I know that's the on switch, but. Two lights that were flashing, that one, I don't know what that does, and that one, I'm guessing that's some kind of filter, blockage or something, bag might be blocked, or full up, I don't know, um, yeah, I haven't noticed anything that's actually wrong with it, apart from there's something missing from the top, it's got its brush in it, which I heard spinning, Ah, oh, not a lot wrong with it really. Just a bit dirty. The missing tools. And we know it works. So, this will be up for sale. Well, it'll be up for sale before you see this video. But, you know, hey ho. 
you follow me on Instagram or Spock, you'll know that it's for sale and you probably might have even bought it by the time you see this video. Who knows? Nice one. Alright, it's got sealed suction, seven stage filtration, automatic dirt sensor. At least it's a 1500 watt. Looks like whoever had it had uh, pets.